final small game hunt, and prepping guns for turkey season. William Hovey Smith, 2018. Here you see a can that I have fairly well exploded with my turkey load. I am the author of Extreme Muzzle Loading, and we're getting ready for turkey season. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And today is February the 28th, the last day of Georgia's small game season. So we are going out with a full court press, ridiculously overgunned as usual, and we're going to be using three firearms. The first is a backup pistol, a Remington 1858 Sheriff's Revolver, which I very often carry. Uh, this pistol is used in case I run into a smallish hog, in case I need a rapid shot at a piece of game. Well, I'm also taking a shotgun. This is the Dixie Gun Works Peter Sully Scout Shotgun, which was introduced in a couple of previous videos. And it's already taken three squirrels, but I need a couple more so I can finish out a pot of squirrel dumplings. Then we have the Crockett Rifle here, which is a 32 caliber round ball rifle that uses a patch round ball. And this is a percussion gun compared to the shotgun here, which is a flintlock. Blah! So we're going to go out and see if we can pick up a couple of more squirrels today. And, of course, you're going to go along. Now, the challenges of handling this much junk in the woods is uh, whatever you have in hand ready to shoot, the piece of game you see is going to require the other one. So there's a lot of pick up and put down kind of thing. Uh, this is nothing no reasonable person should do. For example, uh, it is not at all unusual, and it works really well, if you have a younger hunting partner who's carrying either the rifle or the shotgun while you carry the other one but I don't happen to have any such person conveniently available, so we're going to do it all ourselves, as we oftentimes do. So, we'll get all our junk loaded up, get out in the woods, and see if we can find some squirrels. I'm doing setup number three now. A turkey just cackled over there in my food plot. It's still about 15 days before Georgia's turkey season. So all of these guns are telling me, I need to get a turkey. Well, not yet, fellas. You got to wait for a while. I don't want to take a chance on disturbing it. So I'm going to go ahead and move and hunt in another corner of my place right now. And if he wants to wander in that food plot, we'll just let him. I have returned from the hunt with somewhat wetted muzzle odors but without seeing any game. Our mule's knee kept our flintlock dry. And I'm now going to change out the cap on the percussion crocket rifle, as well as remove the barrels from the stock and wipe them down thoroughly and allow them to dry before I go out again. It is a windy day today, and we are now March 1, which means that Georgia's small game season has ended. And I'm checking these guns now, prior to turkey season. Both have been loaded uh, for, oh, a week or more, and so I'm going to purposefully unload the guns, and then I'll load them again in about another 15 days when turkey season gets underway. In the meantime, I have an improvised target downrange at 30 yards, which is a Coke can, and we're going to see how these guns do. This is absolutely the least you should do in making sure your guns are ready before turkey season. One shot away. 
believe a clean miss. That sounded very much like a degraded load. Flintlock still has his pride. Yes, I do believe that would have killed a turkey, no doubt about it. And it certainly had more than enough force to explode this can. Where did the 32 ball go? I really don't know. This is a closer look at the can that I shot and some of my previous turkeys that I've taken with muzzle loading guns in recent years. Besides extreme muzzleloading, I also have hunting with muzzleloading shotguns and smoothbore muskets, which also has much about turkey hunting. Regardless of the loads you shoot, check out your guns prior to turkey season. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 650 videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye. And God bless.